Hey everybody, Iron Man 3406 here. Going to give you guys another tutorial video. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, thanks for watching. My name is Nathan. Um, behind me is a 627K Caterpillar Scraper, and we are going to do a tutorial on how to use the sequence assist feature in one of these scrapers if it's uh, something that you got on your scraper. So I will uh, get up into the cab, show you how to run through it, and uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, gang. I am up in the cab of the scraper here, and the feature we're going to be talking about is going to be using these four buttons right here, and this button right here on the on the hydraulic control. So sequence assist is a feature in these scrapers to sort of help you get your your bowl, your apron, your cushion ride hitch everything sort of preset for the different stages of the of the cycle so stage one is you're going into the cut stage two you're coming out of the cut going to the haul stage three is your unload and stage four is return back to the cut so we'll go through each one of these show you how to set them show you what it looks like on the back side of the machine when uh, everything's doing it's doing its deal All right, so we're gonna simulate that I am coming into my cut and I wanna get my bowl, my apron, everything sort of preset, my cushion ride. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get everything where I want it. So if I'm coming into the cut, I wanna have my cushion hitched down. I wanna have my apron up a little bit, somewhere, you know, say somewhere like that. And then I wanna have my bowl, you know, just a little ways off the ground. So that when I get into the cut, I don't have to make all those adjustments. They're already pre preset for me. So all I gotta do now is press and hold this button. See that light flash? Turns to the left light. Now it's locked in. So now we're gonna simulate. We're coming out of the cut, we're going onto the hall. So I wanna get my apron closed. I want to have my bowl off the ground a little ways. Say somewhere in that neighborhood, you know, just a few inches off the ground. And I want to have my cushion ride up. So I get my cushion ride set. And then same thing, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to press and hold. See the green light on the right, clicks over to the left, now it's set. Now I'm coming into my fill. I want to get everything preset so that uh, I can uh, make a nice pass for my fill. I'm going to lock my cushion hitch down. I'm going to open my apron all the way. And again, I'm going to set my bowl height somewhere in the vicinity of where I want for my, uh, my lift thickness. So I'll go there maybe about six or so inches. And we're going to call that where I want to have everything set. So we'll come over here. We're going to press and hold. Now I've set my sequence assist for my dump. The last one we got is the return to the cut. All right, so I've got rid of my load. Now I want to go back to my cut. So I'm going to bring my apron down. I'm going to raise my cushion hitch back up and set my bowl back down a little bit lower for the ride back and we'll preset those settings. Again pressing and holding until the light comes solid on the red. Now we've preset all of our parameters for the sequence assist. Now I'll show you guys how to actually activate them when you're going from stage to stage to stage during your during your cycle okay so i've raced back to my cut and i want to go get into my preset settings for going back into my cut again on the joystick control right here you got this little yellow button i'm going to give that a click and you'll see that this is going to change from here to over here and when i do that all those preset settings that i had for going into my cut are going to automatically take place behind me. 
So it's putting my cushion hitch down, raise my apron to where I wanted it. It's running the ejector back. There we go. Now I'm set to go into my cut. Now I'm done filling my bowl. I want to go do my haul. Same thing. Come in here, give this little yellow button a click. Now it's going to close my apron, raise my cushion hitch, and I'm good to go. Haul away, haul away, haul away. Now I'm at my fill zone. I'm going to hit that yellow button again. You'll see it'll cycle over here to the to the dump cycle or the dump stage. Give her a click. That apron's going to open all the way up. The cushion hitch is going to go down, and it's going to automatically bring the ejector ahead. You can see it moving, coming ahead there, ejecting the material. There we go. Ejector's all the way ahead. My bowl is empty. Now it's time to go back to the cut, return to the cut. So one time more, I'm gonna click that sequence assist button. It's gonna go into the return to cut mode. And it's gonna raise that cushion hitch, close the apron, run the ejector back. And now we're sailing back to our cut. And then you just repeat through every stage of your cycle. Um, cut, haul, dump, return, cut, haul, dump, return. And uh, just a nice little feature to sort of preset some of those settings on your bowl and on your cushion ride so that you don't uh, have to manually do it all um, every time that you go into your cut. One thing I missed when I was going over doing all my presets, you can also set your transmission lock with those presets. So like for example, when you're going into that cut, you want to preset your transmission to be locked in second gear when it hits second gear. You can have your transmission lock set to the uh, the sequence assist as well, so that when you're when you're rolling in gear, when when uh, when it hits second gear, you can click your click your sequence assist, and it'll hold your transmission for you as well. Okay, everybody, that's about going to wrap this video up. Quick little tutorial on how to use sequence assist in the uh, Caterpillar scrapers. Again, just a tool to uh, help take some of that repetitive motion that you got to do day after day after day running a scraper. It just takes a little bit of that away from you and makes life a little bit easier. I hope this was informative to those of you that are running these machines. I appreciate you watching. I will keep making these tutorial style videos as uh, time permits and as I can. So until then, I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget, I am Iron Man.